Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this cardigan sweater, coat, or jacket for boys and girls between 12 and 18 months old. It's very easy to make, so I hope you like it. Now, the one that we're going to make in the tutorial is for boys between 12 and 18 months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from six to nine months and up to 18 to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, at the end of the tutorial, I leave you the finished measurements. And if you prefer a written pattern and would like to support my channel by purchasing the pattern, I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box. I really appreciate your support. Now, let's get started. But first, don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Also, don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. To begin, I'll be using this four millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use any number three yarn or eight ply yarn. In the information box below, I'll leave the name of the yarn that I'm using. So here to begin, I have a total of 46 chains. This chain here is measuring about 10.25 inches, which is about 26 centimeters. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue with the next step. So here to begin on the third chain from the hook, one, two, three here, I'm going to make three single crochets. One, two, three. Now this here is going to be the first corner. I'm going to go ahead and put a stitch marker into the second single crochet, which is the center stitch. Now I'm going to make a total of 10 single crochets, so beginning into the next chain make a single crochet and one single crochet into the next chains here until we have a total of 10. Continue and I'll meet you back once we have these 10 single crochets. I finished making these 10 single crochets, not including these three that I did here. Now into the next chain, I'm going to make three single crochets. Now before we continue, make sure to put a stitch marker into the second single crochet, which is the center stitch. Now for the back side here, I'm going to make a total of 20 single crochets. So beginning into the next chain here, we make a single crochet and continue until we have 20 single crochets. I finished making these 20 single crochets, not including these three in this corner. Now into the next chain here, I'm going to make three single crochets. This is going to be the third corner. And before you continue, make sure to put a stitch marker into the second single crochet, which is the center stitch. Now here I'm going to continue and finish this row by making a total of 10 single crochets. And then into the last chain, I'm going to make three single crochets, which is going to be the fourth corner. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. Okay, I finished making these last 10 single crochets. Now I have my last chain at the end. As I mentioned here at the end, we're going to make three single crochets. This here is going to be the fourth corner. Now make sure to put a stitch marker here into the second single crochet, which is the middle stitch. Now in this first row, you should have a total of 52 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. These two chains never count as a stitch. They're just there so that this part here is nice and straight. Now to begin this row, we have the first single crochet. In this first single crochet right here, I'm going to make two double crochets. One and two. Now into the next chain, which is where I have this stitch marker, I'm going to make my first increase here. So into this stitch here, I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. On each one of the stitches where we have the stitch markers, you're always going to make these three stitches. 
and make sure to return your stitch marker to the second stitch here. Now here I'm going to continue and work these next double crochets until I come to the next stitch marker. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here's my second corner. Remove the stitch marker and into this stitch here make three double crochets. One, two, three. Before you continue, always return your stitch marker to the second stitch here, which is the middle double crochet. And now continue along and work these double crochets. I will meet you here where we have this third corner to show you once again what you need to do on each one of the corners from here on. I finished making these double crochets for the back side. I have my third corner here. Remove the stitch marker and into this stitch here make three double crochets. One, two, three. Before you continue, don't forget to put your stitch marker into the center stitch, which is the second double crochet. Now continue and finish here the second row and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm almost done with this second row. Here's my fourth corner. Remove this stitch marker and into this stitch here make three double crochets. One, two, three, now make sure to put your stitch marker back here into the second double crochet, which is the middle stitch. And here to finish, we're going to make two double crochets into the last single crochet. One and two. And this is how I finish this second row with a total of 62 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Now in this third row, I'm going to make single crochets. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make two single crochets. Into the next two double crochets, make one single crochet on each. And now here is the stitch marker marking the first corner for this row. Remove that stitch marker and into this stitch here, make three single crochets. Now return your stitch marker to the center stitch and continue working single crochets on top of each one of these double crochets until you come to the second corner. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 single crochets. Remove the stitch marker and into this stitch here for the second corner, make three single crochets. Now return your stitch marker to the second stitch and now just continue along making one single crochet for each one of the double crochets. When you come to the next corner, do the same thing, three single crochets, then continue. Here again, you're going to do three single crochets and then I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now into this fourth corner, I did my three single crochets. Then I made sure to put back my stitch marker and then I did two single crochets. I still have one more double crochet here at the end. So into this last double crochet, make two single crochets. Now this is how I finished this third row. You should have a total of 72 single crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two, turn. And here in this fourth row, I'm going to make double crochet. So beginning on top of the first single crochet, make two double crochets. 
now into each one of these next single crochets until I come to the stitch marker make one double crochet on each one that's two three four now remove this stitch marker and into each one of the corners this is what you're going to do you're going to make three double crochets one two three make sure to put back your stitch marker into the second double crochet which is the middle stitch and then continue along and work one double crochet on top of each one of the single crochets until you come to the corners on each one of the corners you're going to do three double crochets three double crochets here and then three double crochets here and then I will meet you here at the end of this fourth row to show you how we're going to finish this row I'm here at the end of this fourth row I have my last single crochet into this last single crochet I'm going to make two double crochets if you've noticed we always start with two stitches at the beginning and we always end with two stitches. At the end of this fourth row, I have 82 double crochets. Notice that we are increasing 10 stitches at the end of every row. So at the end of the fifth row, we're going to have 92. So to do the fifth row, chain one, turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make two single crochets. In this row, I'm going to make single crochets that's one two three four five six now remove this stitch marker this is the first corner you're going to do exactly the same thing on each one you're just going to make three single crochets now make sure to always put back your stitch marker because you are going to lose count or you're going to put your increases on the wrong stitch it has happened to me so make sure you keep that stitch marker there marking the center stitch every time we do the three stitches now i'm going to continue and work these single crochets until i come to the next corner where i'm going to do the same thing three single crochets on each one at the end of this row we're going to have 92 single crochets i will meet you at the end of this fifth row i'm here at the end of this fifth row i have my last double crochet here into this last double crochet make two single crochets now from here on you're going to continue on your own and you're going to repeat these two rows at the end of every row we're going to be increasing 10 stitches remember to always finish with two stitches at the end and to always start with two stitches at the beginning of every row now let me show you the sixth row chain two turn in this row i need to do the row of double crochets so beginning into the first single crochet here make two double crochets into each one of the single crochets make a double crochet until you come to the first corner let's see that's three four five six seven eight double crochets not including the two that we did here at the beginning here's the first corner remove this stitch marker and into this stitch here make three double crochets one two three remember to always put back your stitch marker to mark the center stitch which is the second stitch out of the three that we always do and now i'm just going to continue along and make one double crochet for each one of the single crochets and for each one of the corners i'm going to do three double crochets in this row and then here at the end into the last single crochet i'm going to make two double crochets at the end of this sixth row you should have a total of 102 double crochets now i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do here for my yoke but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going 
going to do and I'll also give you the stitch count for each one of the rows that follow so I'll give you the stitch count for for rows seven and up to whatever row I finish so continue watching so that you know those numbers but basically you're just increasing 10 stitches at the end of every row so continue and I'll meet you at the end of that row Okay, I finished making my yoke. I did a total of 12 rows. At the end of the 12th row, I have 162 double crochets. Now, when I left you off, it was row six, so at the end of the sixth row, you would have had 102 double crochets. At the end of the seventh row, 112 single crochets. At the end of the eighth row, 122 double crochets. At the end of the ninth row, 132 single crochets. At the end of the 10th row, 142 double crochets. At the end of the 11th row, 152 single crochets. And here I'm at the end of the 12th row, so like I said, I have 162 double crochets. Now it's measuring from the top here of the neckline down to the end of this last row, it's measuring about 13 centimeters, which is a little bit more than five inches. Now this part here is measuring about 28 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the sleeves so now let me tell you how many stitches i have for each one of the sides so for each one of the front panels i have 23 stitches and then i have a stitch here in the center i'm not counting these stitches here um, that are part of the corners and then for the sleeves i have 34 and 34 and then for the back side i have 44. now we're going to start counting rows so this would be row one so chain one and turn and here I'm going to work these 23 single crochets. We're not going to increase anymore. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet, then into the next, a single crochet, and so on. I'm going to make these 23 single crochets, and I'll meet you right about here where we have the first corner to show you how we're going to divide the sleeves. I finished making these 23 single crochets for this front panel. Now I'm right here, my next stitch is this corner. I'm going to remove this stitch marker and into this same stitch here, I'm going to make three single crochets. One, two, three. Now to divide the sleeve, chain four. Now skip 34 double crochets and into the second corner here, remove this stitch marker and right inside this stitch make three single crochets one two three now continue and make these 44 single crochets for the back side i will meet you here where we have the third corner to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve I finished making these single crochets for the back side. Now I have this third corner, remove the stitch marker, and into this stitch here make three single crochets. Now for the back side, you should have a total of 50 single crochets. To divide the second sleeve, chain four, skip these 34 double crochets, and into this fourth corner, remove the stitch marker, make three single crochets here and now continue for this front panel and finish this first row i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this first row i finished making these single crochets for this front panel we have divided the sleeves now i have a total of 102 single crochets at the end of this first row i have 26 and 26 for each one of the front panels and in the back side i have 50 single crochets and then under the sleeves on each side i have four chains now for the second row we're going to chain two and turn remember these two chains never count as a stitch now here i'm going to make these 26 double crochets so beginning into the first single crochet make a double crochet and continue until you come here i will meet you here to show you how we're going to work the chains under the sleeves i finished making these 26 double crochets for this front panel i'm right here right under the sleeve now what we're going to do here under the sleeve is we have these four chains so into the first chain make a double crochet same thing into the next chain same 
same thing into the next and same thing into the last chain so here under the sleeve we're going to have four double crochets you're going to do exactly the same thing under the other sleeve and then you're just going to continue along now for the back side when you get here to the four chains here you're going to do the same thing one double crochet on each one of the chains and then continue along and finish i'll meet you at the end of this second row I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 110 double crochets at the end of this second row. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. These two chains, remember, never count as a stitch. Now from here on, I'm going to change the pattern here. I'm not going to continue with the same thing we did here for the yoke where we did a row of single crochets and a row of double crochets. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to work a row of front post and back post double crochets and then I'm going to do a row of chest double crochets and then back to the front post and back post double crochets. If you have a hard time making front post and back post double crochets, you can continue with the same pattern. Since we're not going to increase or anything from here on, we're always going to work these 110 double crochets. So you can do uh, the way that I'm going to show you or just continue in the same way as we did for the yoke. So here, beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet into the next double crochet, make a back post double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook through the back, wrap your hook around the post of that second double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, take two loops off. Now yarn over into the next double crochet, make a front post, double crochet into the next one, back post, double crochet into the next one, front post, double crochet. This is all I'm going to do for this third row, just alternate between a front post and a back post, double crochet all the way to the end. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we've done front post and back post double crochets. Now here to finish, I have my last double crochet. On top of this last double crochet, make a double crochet. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now for this fourth row, all I'm going to do is double crochet. So one double crochet on top of each one of these double crochets. At the end of this fourth row, we're going to have 110 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 110 double crochets. Now, like I said, from here on, we're going to repeat these two rows. This row of chest double crochets and then the third row where we did front post and back post double crochets. So here to start you off for the fifth row, you're going to chain two and turn. Now in this row, we're going to start with a double crochet on top of the first double crochet. And then into the second double crochet, I'm going to make a back post double crochet, then front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and so on. This is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to alternate between these two stitches all the way to the end. Remember at the end of this row, on top of the last double crochet here, you're going to make a double crochet, then chain two, turn, and then repeat this row that I just did here, the row of double crochets. That's how you're going to continue for the rest. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do from here on, but continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this part here. I have a total of 19 pattern rows plus the row of single crochets here. So that's a total of 20 rows. My last row here is the row of just double crochets. Here at the end, I just cut my yarn, passed my yarn through this last loop. Um, the next part that I'm going to do, which is the bottom of the sweater, I'm going to make it in this uh, navy blue color. So that's why I went ahead and cut my yarn. If you're not changing color, then don't cut your yarn. Now this part here is measuring from the top 
here of the shoulder to the end of this last row. It's measuring about 31 centimeters, which is about 12.25 inches. If you want to make this part here longer, you can. Uh, just go ahead and add more rows and finish uh, the last row here in the same way, a double crochet row. Now, this here is going to be the right side of the sweater. As you can see, um, the single crochet rows are on the wrong side, but the double crochet rows are on the right side, see? So here, to do this next part, we're going to go here on top of the last double crochet that I did. I'm going to grab a loop here with this navy blue color, same weight. Um, I forgot to mention, up to here, I have used up about 110 grams of yarn, so just the gray is about 110 grams. Now here, we're going to chain one, turn on top of this first double crochet which is the same one where i grabbed the loop here make a half double crochet now here we're going to do the same thing we did in the rows of front post and back post double crochets but we're going to make half double crochets instead so yarn over into the next stitch which is the second double crochet make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. Continue like this to the end of this row, and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. Now to finish here, I have my last double crochet here on top, make a half double crochet. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and turn, beginning on top of this first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now we're going to continue and do the same thing. So this next stitch here is a front post half double crochet, so make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet, into the next front post half double crochet, and so on. Continue like this, just alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet until you come here to the end. Here at the end, on top of the last half double crochet, make a half double crochet on top, chain one turn, and then repeat the same thing. I think I'm going to do about maybe, I don't know, four or five rows, I'm not sure, continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do here. Now, another option if you have a hard time making front post and back post stitches, is just make maybe four or five rows of just single crochets here for the bottom or maybe just continue in the same way and then just do one last row in a different color so let's continue and finish this part and i'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making this part i did a total of four rows now if you want to make it wider you can make more rows i'm going to leave it like this now what we're going to do here along the very edge is single crochets and along the neckline and on the other side so beginning here on this side this is where I did my last half double crochet I'm going to chain one and into this last half double crochet here make a single crochet single crochet into the next row single crochet into the next and single crochet into the next I have four single crochets here now into this next row, which is a row of double crochets, make two single crochets. Then into the next row, make one. Into the next row, which is the row of double crochets, make two. Then one, two, one, two. That's all I'm going to do. So two, one, two, one, two, one, until you come here, right about here. I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these single crochets. So from here up to here, which is the last row of double crochets, I have 33 single crochets. Now my next row here is the row of single crochets. This is where we divided the sleeves. So into this stitch here, make sure you do three single crochets. That's two, three. Now we're going to continue here along this side and we're going to continue in the same way. So here I had 33, 34, 35, 36. I'm going to make two here, 37, 38. Into the next row, 37, 38. 
39 this is a row single crochet so only make one into the next row it's a row of double crochets make two that's 40 41 into the next row 42 into the next row make two 43 44 into the next row one 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 and 54 I have 54 single crochets for this side here including these three single crochets that we did on this row here now I have my first corner so into this corner make one single crochet and then continue along all around the neckline just making one single crochet for each one of these remaining chains that we have here that's all I'm going to do then I'm going to meet you right about here this is the next corner so this is where I'm going to do my last stitch I will meet you right about here to show you how we're going to work this other side okay I finished making these single crochets all around the neckline this is my last stitch for the neckline here this is one of the corners right there now the next row here is the row of single crochets so into this row make one single crochet so from here up to here we should have 54 single crochets or however many you had on the other side make sure it's the same number now into the next row here for me i'm going to make two single crochets into the next row which is a row of single crochets make one then two one two one two one two one and then two and this next row here is the row where we divided the sleeve so on the other side in this row is where we did three single crochets make sure you do the exact same thing three single crochets into this row of single crochets which is the row that we did to divide the sleeves now from here on you're going to continue in the same way two one two one until you come here to the end make sure you have 54 single crochets or however many you had on the other side for me it was 54 so i'll continue and finish this side and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these single crochets along this other side i have a total of 54 single crochets now for the second row chain one and turn now in this row we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets into each one of these single crochets so beginning on top of this first single crochet which is the last one that i did i'm going to make a half double crochet now into the next i know it's hard to see here but i'm just going to insert my hook like this through this space and come out through the other making sure that you see the post there and same thing into the next and so on like that so into the next make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post half double crochet this part here is the same thing we did here for the bottom except that this first row here is a row of single crochets so you do the same thing front post back post front post back post half double crochets this is all i'm going to do so continue all around right here where we have these three single crochets you're going to do the same thing you're going to go in through one do the same thing on the other and so on continue and I will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I'm here at the end here on top of the last stitch. I did a half double crochet now for the second row of front post and back post half double crochets chain one and turn on top of this first half double crochet make a half double crochet now here we're going to work these stitches in the same way if it's a front post you make a front post if it's a back post make a back post so for me this here is a front post so I'm going to make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on this is all I'm going to do for this second row so continue like this all around and I will meet you here at this other end okay I went ahead and finished this second row of front post and back post half double crochets if you want to leave your sweater like this with just two rows go ahead and do that I'm going to add one more row now if you notice that around the neckline is too tight with the three rows then don't do the third row just go ahead and leave it like this with two rows and then continue watching so that you can see how I'm going to do this leaves I'm going to continue with the third row so I'm right here at the end of this second row so here to do this third row chain one and turn and same thing on top of this first half double crochet make a half double crochet and then do the same thing a front post half double crochet back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on I'm going to continue like this all around so I'll meet you here at this other end right here to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this third row I like the way that this looks with the three rows here if you want to make two that's up to you and it's fine now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to continue along the bottom and make one more row of front post and back post half double crochets I don't like the way that this part here looks I think it looks a little messy so if you like the way that yours looks it's fine you can just go ahead and cut your yarn here but I'm going to go ahead and continue here down the bottom so what I'm going to do here is I did my last half double crochet here on top of the last stitch there I did one chain and now into this space right there I'm going to go in and make a half double crochet now we have this last front post half double crochet that we did when we did the bottom part so I'm going to do a front then back front back so this next stitch here has to be a back post half double crochet that's one the next one front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet next one front post see this is the one now that's part of the bottom that we did so now we are just going to continue and do the same thing front post back post front post back post half double crochets so just continue and I will meet you right here at this end to show you what we need to do next okay I finished making this last row here at the bottom here I just finished um, by making a half double crochet right here then cutting my yarn and passing my yarn through that last loop now this part here is done now I also went ahead and added my buttons these buttons here are 12 millimeter buttons and now the buttonholes are the spaces in between the rows as you can see right here there's a space there and that's what I'm using as buttonholes I didn't add any buttonholes because there's no need the spaces that are left in between the rows here are big enough for buttons that are about I don't know 11 12 12 millimeters buttons to uh, fit there perfectly so I went ahead and added four and that's what it looks like now I also went ahead and did one of the sleeves we're going to do it exactly in the same way now I'm thinking of making another sweater but slightly bigger for my son he's almost seven so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that I really really love this pattern here I like the v-neck and especially the color in the stitch it's absolutely beautiful now if you prefer also you can leave it without any sleeves and just turn it into a nice little vest that would be up to you I would probably do something like this around the sleeves um, and that would be up to you so now we're going to go ahead and do the sleeves it's going to be done exactly in the same way for both sides so I'm going to do the right side now 
so we're going to go right here under the sleeve and the important thing here is that the first row is going to be worked from the inside out so make sure you do the same thing here on this side so to begin i'm going to use the same hook the four millimeter hook and if you remember here under the sleeve we have four double crochets because we had four chains and then we added one double crochet for each chain so i'm going to go right in the middle so i'm going to have two on this side and two on this side so insert your hook there grab a loop with this same yarn here and remember this first row is going to be worked from the inside out on both sides so chain one here now right here i have the two double crochets out of the four that we have here under the sleeve so i said two and two on each side and then right next to it i have this other stitch so we're going to continue with the pattern i have a row of double crochets so now i need to do the row of front post and back post double crochets so this next double crochet make into a front post double crochet the next one back post double crochet the next one front post double crochet so here I have three double crochets one two three now we're going to go right here to the sleeve remember for the sleeve we had left 34 stitches so what I'm going to do here is we have this corner where we have three double crochets one of the double crochets is part of the 34 but I'm going to go into the one before that so the center double crochet right here and I'm going to work a back post double crochet like this I'm doing this because I want to finish with a total of 42 double crochets here at the end of this row so there's my back post double crochet and now into the first double crochet out of the 34 for the sleeve make a front post double crochet then back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet and so on that's how you're going to continue until you come to this other corner right here right here this is where we divide it and right into this double crochet where we have the same stitch where we divide it that's the last stitch that we we're going to work for the sleeve and then we're going to continue for this side and make three uh, front post and back post double crochets but I'll show you that so continue and I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row okay I'm almost done with this first row here for the sleeve I did my last stitch here this is the stitch where I showed you that that we had three and then that second one I did my front post double crochet so up to here I have 39 double crochets now I'm going to go right here remember I said we have two double crochets right here on this side and then right next to it we have this other one so into this this one right here I'm going to work a back post double crochet and then front post double crochet into the next and then back post double crochet now I have 42 double crochets for this first row to finish go on top of the first double crochet this one here right there and join with a slip stitch and this is how I finish this first row now the important thing here is that we end with 42 double crochets so front post and back post double crochets so however way you decide to do it especially right here make sure that you finish with 42 now for the second row we're going to chain one and turn now from here on we're going to turn for every row and we're going to repeat two rows the row of double crochets and the row of front post and back post double crochets so in this second row i have to make the row of double crochets so i'm going to go on top of this last double crochet right here and make a double crochet double crochet on top of the next double crochet on top of the next and so on here this is all i'm going to do and at the end of this second row i'm going to have 42 double crochets this chain here does not count as a stitch continue all around the second row and i'll meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of this second row in this row i have done double crochets all around now to finish this row we're going to go on top of the first double crochet 
right here and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished this second row with a total of 42 double crochets. Remember, this chain here never counts as a stitch. Now, like I said, from here on, we're going to repeat these two rows. So for the third row, you're going to chain one and turn in this row, I have to make the row of front post and back post double crochets. So beginning right here, this is the first double crochet for this side, make a front post double crochet, next one back post double crochet, next one front post double crochets. Now if you have a hard time making front post and back post double crochets, as I said before, you can make this here in the same stitch here. Just make sure that you have the same number of stitches. And if you notice that the stitch, and if you notice that the sleeve here is too wide, then go ahead and do only 40 stitches. So that's another option. But for now, this is how I'm going to continue, which is repeating these two rows. So continue, finish this third row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I've done front post and back post double crochets. I have 42 stitches here. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this row. So from here on, like I said, we're going to repeat these two rows. So for row four, chain one and turn. In this row, I need to make the row of, of double crochet. So all you do for this row is just make one double crochet on top of each one of the front post and back post double crochets and at the end of this row you're going to have 42 double crochets that's all you're going to do from here on when you finish this row you're going to join here to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch chain one and turn and then repeat the row of front post and back post double crochets you're going to do this for a total of 20 rows which is how many rows I did here for this side and then I'm going to come back and show you how to do the cuff here for the cuff I did three rows of front post and back post half double crochet so continue finish making these 20 rows and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I did a total of 20 rows my last row here is the row of double crochets here to finish I just joined to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done so I have a total of 20 rows now we're going to do three rows of front post and back post half double crochet so insert your hook into the same stitch which is the first double crochet here and make one chain Now, here we're going to work front post and back post half double crochet. So yarn over into this first double crochet, make a front post half double crochet, into the next back post half double crochet, into the next front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, and so on. This is how you're going to continue for this row here for the cuff. So continue all around when you finish this row same thing you're just going to go on top of the first half double crochet join with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing until you have a total of three rows and then once you're done you're just going to join to the beginning cut your yarn pass your yarn through that last loop and this is how it's going to look so continue finish these three rows and then i'll come back and show you the finished sleeve Okay, I finished making the cuff. I did three rows of front post and back post half double crochets. Here at the end, I just joined to the beginning, cut my yarn, passed my yarn through this last loop. So all I need to do here is just hide this end and the sleeve is all done and that's what it looks like. Now remember, you're going to do exactly the same thing that I did here for this sleeve. You're going to do it here on this side. It's done exactly in the same way, so make sure to do that. So this cardigan sweater is all done. That's what it looks like. Here's the bottom. Here's the front of the v-neck and here's the back side. I absolutely love, love this stitch. I think I'm going to do a baby blanket. And I think I'm also going to make a sweater for myself, so stay tuned. And my son, he's almost seven, he said he liked it, so he said he wanted one, so we'll see. 
I'll see if I can make one and uh, obviously I will show it to you all so stay tuned now let me give you the finished measurements from the top here of the neckline down to the end of the sleeve the sleeve is measuring about 35 centimeters which is about 13.75 inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 20.5 centimeters which is about 8.25 inches and the width of the sleeve just the top it's measuring about 11 centimeters which is about 4.25 inches and the length from the top of the neckline to the end of this last row it's measuring about 36 centimeters which is about 14.25 inches now the chest area just the top it's measuring about 31 centimeters which is about 12.25 inches so based on these measurements this little cardigan sweater is for boys and girls between 12 and 18 months old now you can also make it smaller or bigger down here in the information box i'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out i'd say from six to nine months and up to 18 to 24 months also as i mentioned you can make it for girls just make sure to put your buttons here on this side and your buttonholes are going to be here on this side and as i mentioned these buttons here are 12 millimeter and the buttonholes are the spaces in between the rows that I'm using as buttonholes so this sweater here is all done there it is stay tuned for those bigger sizes I think I'm going to venture out and try to make one for myself because I absolutely love love this stitch it's so easy and I'm also thinking about making a baby blanket so stay tuned for all of that okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time